Why does everyone look so sad? I was on a Zoom team call when I got the above private message from my boss. I could give him a list if he had some time. A lot of time. Maybe because we're working in a dystopian nightmare. We can't pay basic bills. And we're being micromanaged to death. Maybe because half of the team was on this Zoom call from our individual desks in the office. Which we could be doing just as easily from home. Maybe because the team is buried in work but the boss is droning on and on while saying absolutely. Nothing in this meeting. Maybe because the entire team is depressed because none of us have been able to find new jobs. We are all looking. Maybe because some of us should be looking forward to retirement in a decade or so. But have absolutely nothing saved. A pizza party would surely raise morale. Quote. You should have just laid that all out for him. The time for sugarcoating things and babying these people is over. It's always the bosses who are the most disconnected from their staff who ask these types of questions. When there are a million obvious reasons why staff are likely unhappy. And you listed a few. I used to work for a company like this. They always claimed they had, no idea, why morale was so low. But then when we would bring suggestions as to what would make us happier. They just doubled down on the stuff that made morale worse. Control overruled happiness. They even micromanaged our happiness. I got pulled into the office once for not smiling. What had happened was my boss walked by my desk while I was trying to figure out a spreadsheet. Someone sent me. And there were tons of mistakes. That's why it made no sense. And I had a puzzled look on my face. But no. I was supposed to be smiling 100% of the time. I raise you one $5 gift card to a local grocery store. Why the long face? You made me get up early. Put on nice clothes. Fight traffic. Spend gas and start my day in a rush so I can FaceTime you from 50 feet and a door away. Why does everyone look so sad? Well, the common denominator would appear to be you, boss. I raise you 30 cold, plain hamburgers from McDonald's for Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe because y'all are paying us just enough for bare bones. Basic survival. And none of us have a chance of a rat's fart in a hurricane of buying a home. I mean, if we're going there, let's just go all the way there. Maybe because some of us should be looking forward to retirement in a decade or so. But have absolutely nothing saved. I'll blew it loudly crying loudly crying loudly crying I feel that so hard pensive face. It's the drowning penguin chicks. Maybe you should answer him if it's no too late. Because we are sick and tired of being underpaid and overworked. Fuck off. FWD the list to them. Sounds line something I could say verbatim three months ago. The leap is horrifying. But learning you can fly? The peace is humbling. Leave that hell hole. Even if you feel lucky or you won't do better. You will. We're in the middle of the silent depression. Don't ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to. Absolutely successful summation of my work experience. I got fired for not enjoying working where I was. It also happened to be less than a week after a couple of us filed OSHA complaints. Do you want an honest answer or the one that is easy? Quote. This is usually how I address these things. Note honest isn't the same as actual truth when you can be soft but clear instead of exact and reactive. Had to be a Zoom call cause while all of you were at your desk your boss most certainly wasn't in the office. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic EraCast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.